Did you know a flat of Coke Zero is $13.49 at Costco? Canadian, $13.49 Canadian, 32 cans of Coke Zero, $13.49. Was that like 29 cents a can or something? You'd have to be stupid to drink water. You'd have to be dumb. It's crazy, man. 32 cans? Are you drinking Coke Zero at 9 a.m.? No. Now I'm drinking Coke Zero at 9.04 a.m. I don't understand the, the diet soda shaming in the morning. Your ass will say, hey, can I get a mocha frappuccino chocolate uh, frappuccino macchiato with nine pumps of hazelnut syrup and two pumps of vanilla syrup in it? Hey, sorry, we're all out of that. Can, you, can we just give you a Sprite? Are you crazy? I care about my health. Okay, Dennis Leary. Oh, man. So true. So I'm eating some naan bread for breakfast too. Sanest breakfast of all time. So it is my kid's third birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Luna. She celebrated by staying awake intermittently until like 2 a.m., which is messed up. Because I've been listening to this Charles Bukowski audiobook to fall asleep. When I pop the Bluetooth earbud in, it's always like, I was having beers with this fella named Jose under the bridge. Jose took three or four beers right to the face and kept asking me if I want another. Who am I but to oblige him? And I was like, okay, I'm kind of picking up on the vibe here. But then I wake up to my child screaming and I go and I try to calm her down. And then I go back to bed like 15 minutes later in a, in a stupor. I pop the earbud back in, I press like start playing, and it's always like the man took six or seven quick swipes with the box cutter across his abdomen until his guts tumbled down the apartment stairwell like Amarillo dice in a casino. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Are you trying to turn me into Ted Bundy? I was in REM sleep. This is the shit that's getting pumped into my ears when I'm like in my most vulnerable state. I gotta start like getting the audiobook that's like behind the scenes of the office or something like that. Something non threatening. I kinda thought that Bukowski was like he would like get drunk and then like throw up and then be like, I'm sad, and then be like, I'm drunk again, I'm happy. And I would be like, Okay, I sort of get it. But everyone is like, I'm drunk, and then like I shit blood until I died. I'm drunk. I killed my wife's new husband. It's fucking crazy, man. It's psychotic. Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> I thought they would be like, you know, unreliably autobiographical tales of debauchery, but it's actually just like, I mean, it's psychotic. Cyber drunk. Shut up about people who drink diet soda. You don't want, you don't want to get audited right now, okay? I'm telling you. First off, your username is in Pascal case. Are you, you, you got banned. What the hell did you get banned for on December 7th, 2021? That was 50 pounds ago. Let me, I got a 700 messages. I got to scroll back two damn years. Don't ask a woman her age, a man his height, or cyber drunk zero why he got banned on December 7th, 2021. Hang on, I'm scrolling. I just want to see. I just want to see what's going on down here. Can't wait until... This is, this is December 15th, 2022. Can't wait until SAP is over. Oh, no. He doesn't know. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, wait a minute. Hang on. Where are we at? 12-22-2021. Okay. And dude, there's so many comments in here that are about drinking soda. It's crazy. December 17th, 2021. Yeah, pop drinkers are whack. Humans shouldn't drink soda. At Hazard Biker, found the diet Pepsi addict. What the hell, man? This is, you've, you've been obsessed with this stuff for like two years. This is crazy. December 7th, 2021. Let's put this music in the background here. Yo, pretty tired of Super Auto Pets. Fair. It's crazy that was two years ago, too. Yeah, enough with this game. I don't understand why I keep playing it. We're not all nine years old. Just saying we love you, but sap is painful. Someone must have replied and said, please just leave. And then they replied and said, eat my ass. 
Yay, more auto battling. We love mindless. Oh, I see what you got banned for. <laughs> SAP is for uh, square bracket editor's note. Cyberdrunk Zero put one of the most uh, morally reprehensible crimes here. Is elementary school on Christmas holiday? If so, you should have plenty of competition in SAP. SAP is the most fun we've ever had on this channel. If you don't like SAP, you're literally a Nazi. I don't think a game exists with, with more depth and fun to be had. And then you obviously hit, uh, you got banned for that comment. And then I unbanned you in the unban requests. I don't remember what your unban request said. Then he came back the next day. One of the comments you put out here is, if you don't want to be attacked, don't call large swaths of people psychos. What the hell? Let's talk about the pot calling the kettle black. Straw man and devil's advocate every time, respectfully. Terrible takes from NL, in my opinion. Let's move on. What the hell, man? Don't worry about the diet soda so much. It's not that you're, you're, you're coming in here, you're sacrificing like your own, like 50% of your own sanity in order to do 1% psychic damage to everybody else. It's like a Magic the Gathering Commander card or something like that. You need to have something that gives you a life gain or life steal after that. They've said based. <laughs> well, suspicious user monitoring. This user was marked as suspicious by you on December 20th, 2022 at 10.02 AM. What the heck did you say on December 20th, 2022? It's like a year later. <laughs> Jesus Christ, hang on, let me scroll here. December 20th, 2022. Is it when you said, what's wrong with a flat cap style hat? Come on, man. <laughs> Why? Oh, this is, no wonder I marked you as a suspicious user, man. Hey, why can't I stop watching Bald Gamer Guy when I should be working? Two minutes later, soft streamer. Two minutes later, what a baby. Two minutes later, people talk, are you gonna cry? Six minutes later, holy shit, is he still whining? This guy, he's got a serious issue, man. This is crazy. What's wrong with the flat cap style hat? Oh, man. Next morning, good morning, friends. Oh, man. Switch, Switch Sports is the game of all time. Is Midnight Suns a sponsored thing? <laughs> okay, some things never change. All right, I don't know. You're already marked as a suspicious user. We'll figure it out. The flat cap comment. It, just listen. I'm just saying, okay? How does he find these people? I'm telling... Because the, the comments that stand out in chat... I mean, sometimes there's thousands of people in chat. It depends whether we're playing uh, SAP or Lies of P. But it's easy... To, to end up in the key value pair a lot, the dictionary uh, of my C-sharp brain, if you say an insane comment two days in a row. And Cyber Demon definitely got me because of the fact that um, I remember them talking about diet soda yesterday. I'm just, I'm, I'm flabbergasted of the kind of person who's that passionate for or against a beverage choice that some people have. You got to take at least... You can leave like a crazy comment on Friday. You can leave a crazy comment on Monday. And I'll forget about it over the weekend. Does the heavy aspartame dosage in Coke Zero bother you? You mean dosage. It's not a, it's not a medicine as much as it is a, a healing property. It doesn't bother me. It, it bothers me because it tastes so good that other stuff tastes bad by comparison. Enough with the soda? What did, what did the Coca-Cola Corporation do to you guys? I'm not saying you gotta stand them. I'm simply saying the beverage tastes good, okay? It's not that serious. I do kind of feel like it's a health potion. So can I tell you something? We went to Costco uh, last night. Anyone else here from the greater uh, Vancouver area? I had always gone to the downtown Vancouver Costco, and I loved it. I enjoyed it immensely. Last night, we found ourselves in South Vancouver. We needed to go to Costco to get some stuff for my kid's birthday function. I forgot about you. This is a horrible start. Um, one of the places of all time to buy 32 frozen hamburger patties. Anyway, we went to the Richmond Costco. I didn't realize 
there's a poorly kept secret. The Richmond Costco beats the piss out of the downtown Vancouver Costco, man. It turns out if you uh, don't have to pay downtown Vancouver real estate prices, the store can get bigger. It can carry more stuff. There's more space. The free samples were popping off. The food court requires you to have a membership card to get inside, unlike the one in downtown Vancouver. My wife said, before we leave, I want to get a hot dog. I said, oh, we'll be here forever. It can take you 20 minutes to get a hot dog at the, at the downtown Vancouver Costco. She said, yeah, but I really want one. I said, okay, fine, if it makes you happy. We'll take all of our groceries out to the car then and we'll wait for you. She tied us. She, she ordered a hot dog, got it, and then met us at the car the same speed that it took us to just show the lady at the exit our receipt and then get to the car. I, I mean, it just goes to show you. I mean, I was wrong. I'm going to that Costco forever now. Also, they had the prepared foods that I thought were American exclusive. Pre-marinated Kirkland Signature bulgogi. Korean style yang yam chicken wings. Like they, they know what they're doing out there. Now it was still crazy busy, but that's just par for the course at Costco, man. I mean, with, with deals like that, you think you're the only person smart enough to know that that's where the, the greatest deals of all time are? Also, can I tell you something? We were late leaving the Costco. So I, you know, had to come up with something real quick for dinner for myself, my mom, and my dad. And I said, you know what? This is basically what McDonald's was made for. My mom does not eat meat. I said, that's no problem. McDonald's is the largest restaurant chain on earth. I know that they sell salads. They must have something you can get if uh, you don't eat meat. Fucking spoilers, bro. Not anymore. The whole, the restaurant menu has none meatless options unless you just want to order french fries, which I'm, I'm not doing. I mean, I mean, like my mom's not doing, I should say. They used to have salads, but during COVID, they were like, you know, oh, lettuce got too expensive or whatever. Like, it's almost half the price of lumber and Ethereum. So they were like, we can't afford to sell salads anymore. And they never brought them back. I just can't believe, like, in the modern day, it's 2023. They still don't have, like, a, a fake burger or just like a garden salad or something like that like even wendy's has like a meatless salad what did your mom eat well me and my dad got mcdonald's because we had to go into the store to see if there were any meatless options and then we drove her to the grocery store she went in real quick and got some grocery store like vegetarian sushi that's not a bit by the way i know it i mean where do you think my opinions came from <laughs> I'm just surprised man do they, do they have it in America they don't have it in Canada Europe be quiet okay no chicken or fish uh, well so I mean it's very confusing I'll admit chicken and fish in my opinion are both meat that being said my mom does eat some fish, but the only fish they have at McDonald's is the filet of fish sandwich. And for health reasons, she's not too interested in eating that, which makes sense. It's so good, though. Is it better than 10-piece chicken nuggets with a, an extra-large Coke Zero? Listen, Cyber Drunk Zero, just relax on this, okay? I know your opinion on it, as is. Bro thinks it's the American Revolution for real. <clears throat> Hot take, run past this guy to the fire and then fight him. You know what? It seems like fantastic advice. We do only have a, a, ha a half hour at the start of this. So then we're going to play the Lamplighters League and then we'll come back for a little Liza P at the end. Let's get some momentum. All right, let's get some momentum. <clears throat> is that because you stalled for 24 minutes doing a chat audit? Macros, no content is stalling. 
it, if anything, it's just fodder for the librarians, like secret moments compilation, pre-stream, pre-overlay coming off compilation, okay? The hell, I'm all the way, oh no, this is the shortcut, that's right. Just because you're a game developer, Macros, you, you shouldn't forget about the plight of the common man, okay? Not everybody on Twitch likes games. The, the gaming is the, like the gateway drug. And then before you know it, like eight years later, you're a communist, okay? You, you signed onto the website because you wanted to see someone play Apex Legends. Eight years later, you just got your laminated card for the Democratic Socialists of America. It's a very interesting website like that. Why am I... Oh, nice try! Do you think the what is X math post is being taken too far? Yeah. I mean, I hate to say this. I'm not trying to suggest that, like, we got to keep politics out of stuff. It's a very boomer take. But um, as soon as, like, the meme makes it to, like, Congress people and members of the House of Representatives being like, you know, boy math is when the U.S. deficit is in is $7.4 trillion, but the GDP is only $1.2 trillion. I'm like, you got, we got to... It's gone too far, man. It's just gone too far. You're not supposed to be the one making the memes. No disrespect. I'm old-fashioned. The politicians in my world are supposed to be the ones trying to get memes banned because they're being mocked in them. Like the weird dress code thing in the Senate. I'm extremely like pro uh, never having a dress code for anything ever. I know this is an antiquated NLSS bit. You're not invited to my funeral? In all likelihood? Um, in fact, most of you will probably ineligible, be ineligible, I should say, to attend for one reason or another. That being said... Oh! If you are invited to my funeral, if you're forced to wear a suit every time. I want you to know that that's the funeral home that is making that distinction. As far as I'm concerned, I don't really care what you wear to my funeral. If you want to wear a uh, you want to wear a hoodie that says New England Patriots AFC Champions 2018 and then like black Nike basketball shorts, by all means. What do, what do I care? What if I'm naked? Well, like, I, I, I literally don't care because I'm dead. But also, if someone wanted to show up to my funeral naked, it doesn't, doesn't bother me any. Not just because I'm dead, but because, like, you know, you do you. It's not for you. It's to show your family and friends respect. If they don't mind, you can dress however you want. No, it's my funeral. Um, there will be no dress code, and I'm going to make you listen to something... Mm, pro like, we're not gonna be playing the wind beneath my wings, let's put it that way. We're gonna be playing maybe something like, like, close to the edge by yes, and you're gonna be sitting there for 17 minutes. Anyway, I'm not a dress code Andy. I know we, we've gone through this before. I think... I try not to use the, the terminology boomers uh, that often because I find that divisive and I'm a big believer that he will not divide us. That being said, caring about dress code to me is, is a boomer coded trait. Especially if you work in an office and you're not in a customer facing role then I really don't understand it. Like, it's, IT especially is the obvious one. But even if you're, like, admin, who gives a shit, man? Now, I'll take it a step further. Even if you're in a customer-facing role, I, as the customer, don't give a shit. Some people might. I can't understand why, when it's none of their business. I, myself, don't really get nudism. I derive no pleasure, maybe even a little anti-pleasure out of being nude. I just also accept that it's one of those things that is like, not for me, you know? Some people are into it, obviously. 
That being said, I think if, if the government made a rule that was like everybody has to be nude at all times from now on, my life would be fundamentally exactly the same. There would be like a couple days where I would be like, holy shit, I'm naked and everyone's naked. And then I think like a day later, I would be like, so I was at Costco yesterday, like what, what do I care? We would be colder. Although I'm quite hairy, I might actually warm up a bit. I mean, I just don't really care what like anyone else wears. I worked an 18 hour bar shift where like a quarter of the people at the bar were nude. You get desensitized to it quickly. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, I just don't see why people care about the dress code that much. We're really talking about the dress code of like Congress, where the dude brought in a cooler with a snowball and said this proves that global warming isn't real. Like if you want to talk about the quorum, let's start with the rhetoric, brother. I'm not gonna worry about a dude who's seven foot four wearing cargo shorts. Like he's a he's a democratically elected official. Like we're really talking about a, a political body where like members of this political body are like routinely blue screen blue screening while they're doing public appearances and we're gonna be like this guy's invalid because he's wearing shorts just seems like it's not the kind of thing we should be focusing on personally but anyway i don't live in the united states so i'm just saying there's there's certainly a lot of like shorts and hoodie discourse right now from people that be, probably be wearing shorts and hoodies to work which i support their right to do Okay, back it up, brother. Back it up. Base police calling. This man is too based. Okay, we're gonna wait for the next stagger. There's no reason to risk this one. We're gonna wait for this one. Oh, tough luck, brother. Oh, you are in a world of hurt. <laughs> Quartz, that's how you know he's not a real boss. This is gonna be the damn hotel again, isn't it? I'm gonna lose my mind. It's always the people you don't wanna see nude that wanna show it off. Listen, while that is uh, anecdotally something that I would agree with, it's also not about you, right? That's the thing, it's about them. I mean, I don't see people being nude in situations where like, I think they're breaching any kind of like social code, you know? Like, it's... Apparently, there's a nude beach in Vancouver. So, nudists go to the nude beach, and they can be, like, nude together. That's fine. I've never seen, like, a nude person just, like, you know, out on the sky train, which is kind of crazy. Because I've seen a lot of stuff go down <laughs> around Stadium Chinatown Station. I've never seen that. So, I, I, I don't think they're, like, forcing it on anybody for the most part. Apparently, like you don't go there, bro. What am I gonna do at a nude beach? It's, it's like you got to be like 75 years old, right, to go to a nude beach and be like, I'm gonna look at some hot ladies. Like you know, you have the the internet. You don't have to be like a creep. You could just go to your goon cave and jerk off instead of like making it society's problem that you have weird issues. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I was walking on the damn seawall and there was a old dude who pulled out like a telescope and started ogling the girls on the uh, like on the boats in False Creek. He's like, dude, you must be, are you from like the 1800s? Your ass pulled out like a spyglass to look at a woman in a swimsuit? Are you okay? Did you see that clip from the... Um, Atlanta Braves Chicago Cubs game where the announcer said 
Now Johnson comes in for hand, and next up to bat is Mastroboni. So the Braves will go from Johnson to hand, and the batter will be Mastroboni. That's probably a good thing Jeff Francoeur is in the other booth. VIP Daniel, can I get a baseball check? Are those three real names that all interacted on a play together? There's a, there's a Major League Baseball player named Mastroboni. Yes, the Blue Jays even once had hand. Man. Boy, I sure hope he does. His name is Miles Mastroboni? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Boss fight? Is this the boss that Kate was on that was giving her a, a real hard time yesterday? It is. Well, oh, that's perfect timing for us to, to pivot after we take a look at them. The 36th filter. This guy took me four hours. Well, get ready, because we're going first try. You've got a friend in me, Toy Story 2 ass looking scene. Me putting on my underwear at 5.20 in the morning so I can hop on the Peloton and get my ass beat by D. Kelly, 1835 from Atlanta. Me realizing I am at the fridge but I didn't get a cup so now I gotta go upstairs and go get a cup and then go back downstairs to the fridge so I can pour some coffee in it at 5.15 in the morning so I get my ass beat by Moomin Rider. Me sleeping on the couch for six days straight because my wife was sick. Finally being able to go to sleep in the bed and then my daughter has a sleep regression. Charles Bukowski trying to turn me into Ed Gein by whispering sweet somethings into my ear. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> that is really good. They understood the assignment with this one, man. All right. Oh, he's sad. You made him sad! King of puppets. Hey, I've been workshopping a tweet about Neutral Milk Hotel. It'll be something like, bro, bro, tell him. Tell them, tell them that story about when you were young and you were the, what were you, what did they call you when you were young again? And then it would be like, oh, I don't really want to dredge up the past. Yo, no, no, I remember when you were young and they called you like the king of carrot flowers or whatever. And how you built like a tower that was tumbling to the freaking sea or whatever. Tell them about it, bro. Tell them. That's getting a lot of plus twos, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna how I'm gonna phrase it. Okay, for now, slash, slash marker me. Uh, this is lies of P. Wake up, honey. New exploration, new exploration tactics banger just dropped. Exclamation point! Lamp lighters. Lamp lighter. Lamp lighters. Exclamation point! Lamp lighters. I woke up, honey. Is it too late? This is, you, you should wake her up, but mostly because it's 10.01 a.m. Pacific time. So basically, no matter where you live in the world, unless she, maybe she's a nurse and she works third shift and she's a hero, in which case, let her sleep after she shovels the driveway. Otherwise, you should wake her up. It's going to screw up her whole sleep schedule to be, you know, asleep at this time of the day. It's 3 a.m. in Australia. No shot. I don't buy that. That's cap. That's me when I spread misinformation on the internet. It can't be true. It is? It's 3 a.m. in Australia right now? That's messed up, bro. Australia is basically Vancouver. You guys should just go on the Pacific time. Well, you're afraid of surfing at night? That's a good point, now that I think about it. Probably pretty easy to get like lost in the water or whatever. Are sharks nocturnal? I don't know if sharks realize what time it is because they're always under the water. It's perpetually overcast. You make Chibs stay up that late? Chibs in New Zealand, okay? That's, 
probably the same time zone. But either way, I don't make Chib get up until 7 to play games with us. He willfully chooses to wake up at 5 a.m. on like a Saturday to play Uno, bro. But if I'm hitting him with a banger like Jackbox, he's like, oh, it's my day off. Wake up, honey. And after you wake up, thank Hairbrained Schemes, the developers of Battletech, Shadowrun Returns, Shadowrun Hong Kong. Sometimes I get the suffixes mixed up on them. And thank you, Paradox, as well, for the sponsorship. We're here with an early look at the Lamplighters League and the Tower at the End of the World. It is a new archaeology exploration themed tactics game uh it comes out october 3rd there is a demo available now that you can check out for yourself on steam you can figure out where that is for yourself by typing exclamation point lamplighters we're gonna get started here i do love a saxophone a moody saxophone he's henchman maxing This is why we don't jaywalk, Chad. That seems bad. He's left behind his one-of-a-kind octopus NFT. What I wouldn't give to go back to... 1920 hey. steampunk Victorian England and smoke a cigarette on a rooftop. Big hey. summer blowout. <laughs> You're uh, welcome. Well done. What's your name again? The Gentleman Jin. At your service. Hmm. And we're married to that name, are we? I thought she was gonna. Smoked a cigarette in reverse. Thought she was gonna put the lit end in her mouth. <laughs> it wasn't Justin talking about that. <laughs> Remember he asked me an insane question. He said, have you ever done this? And I said, what's that? And he says, when you put the lit end in your mouth and then somebody How else blows on it or something like that. So you like, Wait, what, are you, what are you talking about? Job. Okay. Nice try. Whatever you say, gentlemen, Jin. All Was right, we're so here. Hard? Lamplighters That's my leave. Professional name. Now, Latif, kind of a skinny boy. I thought maybe he could just squeeze through here. Uh, what was it? Sissy style? That sounded wrong coming out of my mouth. I was trying to reference the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> Apparently not. We need Ingrid, a bruiser, to break through this crumbling wall. Look, there's the courier. Uh, he's... Sleeping? <laughs> so this is what happens whenever Perlator says that there was no response when they knocked on my door. Plus two? Plus two, they do be lying. Listen, if you work for Perlator, I'm not insulting you. I'm ins insulting the other people at the company. Sometimes you'll be home all day, and then you'll check your email. You'll get an email from Perlator that says, hey, sorry, we missed you. And I'm like, what are you talking about, you dang liar? I was, I was sitting at the, on the couch next to the front door all day. You didn't knock. Recon mode. Scoundrels know the value of casing the area before things get loud. Activate recon mode and move the cursor over objects to gain insights about their surroundings and plan the attack. Dynamite crate. Me, uh, as a henchman, when I'm henchman maxing, Hey, boss, where do you want me to put the dynamite? Anywhere's good. Uh, I guess I'll just put it down right next to this big old puddle of oil then, huh? Yeah, 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 bo boss, comma, distracted. It's stage direction. Do whatever you gotta do. Okay, boss. Shoulders wider than grew. I know, I know what I'm doing. Still nothing, Lady DeCastro. What? What? They will be here, and the deck with them. Doubt me again, and the next entrails I read will be yours. 
Lady Nicastro is a deadly adversary. When scions like her are on the field, there's no shame in running to live and fight another day. She's an elite enemy. The escape route is that aeroplane at the end of the dock. Should we try to kill her? <laughs> I'm going to be the master of disguise. I'm going to be the master of disguise. <laughs> Oh! We're gonna get discovered. Yeah. I'm going loud! <laughs> Make me an offer. We're not for sale. Mm. At the moment. But dude, she's in a horrible position here. But what the heck is that? She's got like 10 armor? 350 HP? No! This was a bad idea, man. 40% chance to crit, though. Imagine if we roast her, though. Oh, it's on crit. Good. Fight back. Fight harder. Now you... 65% chance to crit. Exquisite. We'd love to see that. And then, you're definitely going to get a punch out here. I am no stranger to pain. And then everybody's going to attack the decoy, probably. So we might as well take a second punch. And we got some evasion. Way! Why? There's the decoy in the smoke. I've been poisoned. Well, hang on. Invisible man. Please start by shooting the TNT. We probably have to take out the minions. Throw shock grenade. Shock debuff. They suffer, suffer 10 shock damage per round. We'll drop this bad boy out right here. This is how a master thief does it. You're not in killable range yet. Now, let's let's be honest here, okay? Eddie, you've already used your ultimate ability. It's a great time to reload. Now, you only get to do one other thing. You can only hit her. Okay, it's unfortunate. How about you, Latif? Latif got a 30% chance to hit you. Not so good. You got two bullets. Okay, you know what? We're going crazy mode on you. You gotta go. Whoa! Oh, she has Overwatch. Okay, well, it probably wouldn't have changed what I've done, but it would have changed my, my calculus on it a little bit. Now, you. Double attack, please. Good shot, Ace. She's not dead. We have two AP. I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a punch. We hoped for a crit, didn't get it. We follow up with a punch. We get the one extra AP. And then you throw me into evasion mode, which hopefully at least pulls your aggro. Okay. They got some evade. What, what, what the heck is that? Gas, baby. Torment? You missed me. Now you gotta kiss me. They didn't expect us to beat the boss this early. Okay, they are on fire. They did do some serious damage, don't get me wrong. Scion retreating. No! No. I had them, man. I've never seen her defeated. I know what you're thinking. Have you ever seen someone so good at a tactics game as twitch.tv slash northern lion? Yes, I watched Christopher Odd play x -Cog. Okay, yeah, 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 I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm saying, have you ever seen anyone better? Yes, lots of people. Okay, well, who asked, okay? Who asked? Hello. I saw the, the picture of the cake. It looks gorgeous. It looks amazing. You gonna eat that cake? Honestly, uh... I don't know. We got, a, we got a lot of people coming to our daughter's function. 
we don't have uh, the the cake is not that big, so I I am more than happy to go without cake. I think that the at a children's birthday party, the cake first goes to your child if it's if it's your child's birthday, then it goes to the other kids of the party, then it goes to all guests, and last. I hate to enforce heteronormative norms. Last is the father of the child who's having the party. The mom gets the right of first refusal. I didn't make the rules of society. I'm simply observing them. Or how about just the parent that likes cake more? I don't know. I mean, listen, I'm just telling you. Me personally, I don't really enjoy cake that much anyway. So I want the street cred of suggesting that my wife has it, whether or not she actually wants it. It's an easy way to get some brownie points, I think. I'm curious. Me? I'd rather get Yellow shirt and wise. pumpkins go crazy. I'm Halloween maxing right now. Watch this. I know you're like, oh, he's not a henchman. He'll never be a henchman. How about now? He will never be a henchman. Serial. Oh, hi, boss. And then, just a normal guy. I'm back to myself. Then the boss needs me to uh, kidnap 101 Dalmatians. All right. All right, boss. Just tell me where to go. Holy crap, it's the bat! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is my, my demo reel. Look, I can be like a little guy. Do you know the difference between you and me, officer? Do you know the difference between you and me, detective? I've embraced my true nature. You have to hide from it like a square peg trying to fit in a round hole. <laughs> and I could also go Coach, put me in Put me in, I'm ready to go Ooh, 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 ooh Co Put me in, put me in I could be a little guy running really fast Anyway Those are my three characters I've been working on Context for this bit? You don't need context. The, the bit is the context. <laughs> Do a medium guy? Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. The little guy? You shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Big guy? Hoo-ah! Hoo-ah! What do you need, boss? Top of the morning to you. Little guy? I wouldn't have done that if I were you. <laughs> I need to workshop it a little bit. Sorry, six skill points gained. I'm ready to go. I mean, I'm telling you in all honesty, girls run the world in this game. Eddie has not made a single shot in his entire career. He does nothing. He does flush units out of cover, for which I'm appreciative of. Latif, at least, is sneaky. I'll say there's a little bit of user error involved in the sneakiness, don't get me wrong. Eddie's got a lot to answer for. Eddie's in the group chat. Come on, the job's not truly done. I'm Going like, bro, what do you mean? I don't, I don't have, you haven't given me any skill points, man. You gave all the skill points to Ingrid. Bro, it kills. <laughs> Eddie! You're so true, I forgot about the venom bit. Eddie! Miss them four times! Shoot four times at ghosts, Eddie! I don't know if I should really do that, boss. I don't know if I should really do that, boss. I mean, I think it would really help my team out if I actually... Eddie! I dropped the ball. I have to respond to a six-month-old email. What do I do? I mean, I'll be honest with you. Anytime I've had to do that, I think you should just um, open the email by saying, sorry, I took so long to respond. 
basically like I'm a piece of crap. It's, everybody gets it. Everybody's been in the position, you know? If somebody doesn't reply to your email in like a week after a bump, you know, like a, hey, just bringing this to your attention again, you know what's going on. They probably are telling themselves like every day for a month that they should reply. And then after a month, they're like, well, I can't reply now because the pain of replying is greater because obviously I've seen the email and opted not to respond. So at some point, you just got to bite the bullet and basically say like, my bad. Then I bumped again and then I bumped again. So true. How do I get back into the place where I bump, 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 bump? How do I get back to the place where I say thank you for your patience? See, listen, I would never say that because I've, without disrespecting you, I find that comment disrespectful. Thank you for your patience strikes me as like, uh, like they did you a favor. I and I, I don't see it up, like that. I, I would rather say sorry for my late reply, even if that's not adequate for the amount of time it took to respond. Yeah, that's, dude, new tech. Sorry if you feel this email is late. Now we're talking. Now we're getting truly insane. 15% chance to hit. You gotta be kidding me, man. 35, 30, 15, are you crazy? We can, we're, we're gonna use him to grant an ability to somebody else. I know what I must do. <laughs> I, I kind of know what I must do. How about... What, what are your odds, Latif? 35? Make it up to me. Oh! <laughs> The legend himself? Our dance is done. Get smoked? You stay away from me. I, is this killing you? It is definitely killing you. Give me my AP. Give me evasion. I, will, I may never get hit again. Pick up what the frag grenade. Punch you twice. That's game over, kid. You... <laughs> I won't let it. I won't. Hey, this is no time for a nap. Oh, man. <laughs> game over, kid. Oh no. What a line. Dude, it's crazy how um, TikTok is so obsessed with me. They keep sending me emails. It used to be like, you've got three new followers. Then it started to be like, don't you want to read your notifications? The newest one it sent me is, hello, Northern Lion. Would you like to know who followed you? Like, we're, we're pretty close to getting some emails with, like, a pleading emoji face that are like, mm, fine, I guess I'll never email you again. I guess I'll go away. Bye. Kevin James face. The Kevin James face, now known as the Chris Christie face. He says, if you keep ducking us, we're not going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. Oh, man. This has got to be a 20 phase Andy, because so far this is too easy. I know I'm, I've used half my heals, but... That in and of itself is, like, pretty... I mean, nobody that's doing one attack is, like, a difficult boss in Souls. I know, wait, listen! <laughs> I know we died. You don't have to beat a boss on the first try for it to be an easy boss in Souls. The last lad, well, like, I don't know, two lads ago, took us three and a half hours. He beat the rabbit, bro? Yeah, easily. It's crazy, too. When Kate watched my, my clip of beating the boss, I was, like, pogging up in my own performance. 
There were so many perfect parries in there. There were so many good choices. It's like a non-lock-on, Andy. Maybe. And it's the thing about souls, right? Like, the boss has to beat you every time. You only have to beat them once. Thoughts on ketchup chips? I'm for them. Man, did you know that the, the bags of potato chips they sell at Costco are like over a pound of potato chips? It's like 645 grams. It's like one and a third pounds of chips. I might not even put out the sun chips at the damn birthday party. I might just save those for myself. I've never met a bag of chips I couldn't finish, but I don't... <laughs> we might be in that kind of territory now for all I know. What kind of chips you get? You already know. I mean, I, I was in charge of the chip selection. I chose Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips. Sea Salt Malt, malt Vinegar Miss Vicky's. It's called the Canadian One-Two Punch. I'm very pro all dress, don't get me wrong. Just being honest, sometimes I find the... It's not the flavor. Sometimes I find the Ruffles chip just a little bit too oily for me. The flavor is... It's the, one of the finest of all the flavors, without a doubt. But the, the, the Ruffles chip itself is just a little too grease-pilled for me sometimes. I'm not going to complain about it, don't get me wrong. It's crazy that at one point we thought Dark Souls was hard. Not smart. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> At some point, we thought Dark Souls was hard, bro. When the enemy doesn't attack, you could just block. You could hold L1. Enemy goes like this. Ooh, you go. Bonk. Nowadays, every enemy's like, huh? 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 When am I gonna? When am I gonna? When am I gonna do it? You don't know when I'm gonna do it. When, 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 when am I gonna do it? Bill Gates, absolutely not based. Yeah, but not for the reasons that crazy people think he's not based, right? I ever tell you my friend who is a wastewater engineer? He has a serious bone to pick with Bill Gates' supposedly uh, mechanical antiseptic toilet. Yeah, the toilets, right? Oh, I've said it before. He always has to be like, I know there's not a microchip in the vaccine. But Bill Gates keeps talking about these damn toilets. The toilets do not work. It's a really expensive version of a toilet that works, but his toilets don't work that well. This is pre-skibbity. Pre-skibbity toilet. Bare Naked Ladies should come back for a, a new one week. Skibbity toilet, the toilet chicken. You have a drumstick and the NyQuil kicking. Watching White Lotus with no lights on. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I had to think of a show that wasn't the X-Files to fit in there. They should do one week every year and just, it could be like a we didn't start the fire type thing. It could recap the entire year. I hope Jennifer Coolidge is in this one. They could do the YouTube rewind. I mean, Bare Naked Ladies, I like them, but they gotta be like one of the most bad chest of the bands in the business, without a doubt. Boo Boo Dolls? I do hate the fucking Boo Boo Dolls. That's not up for discussion. I thought the Bare Naked Ladies changed their name to the Goo Goo Dolls. First off, they sound nothing alike. Secondly, that sounds like a Jimmy Carr joke. I'm so old, I remember when the Bare Naked Ladies were called the Goo Goo Dolls, or vice versa. Cancel culture's gone so crazy. Did you know that Gen Z forced the Bare Naked la Ladies to change their name to the Bare Naked Men? <laughs> oh. 94-year-old British people in the audience be like, holy fuck, so true. They did do that. They didn't, but you could imagine that they could have. Would you prefer garlic monkey bread or cinnamon monkey bread? I don't know monkey bread. Monkey bread is like that pull-apart uh, appetizer they sell at a pizza restaurant when you're like, I, I, well, we're getting pizza, but we can't just get pizza. What else can we get? Oh, how about just dough? Monkey bread is so flippin' good. The European mind can't possibly conceive of the power of monkey bread. Don't wanna eat your monkey bread. 400 
kilocalories per serving. I'd rather eat stroop waffle than eat this. Oh, man. You're up with the gourmet foods. Their impressive cycling infrastructure. And don't forget about the stroop waffles. Oh. Okay, that's bull. That's, you know that's bull. I had you stunned. One last chance before I quit. I never wanted anything that I could fit into your head. I still remember everything you word you said. And I, sorry, you know what I'm talking about? Since I was always caged and now I'm free! No, that's Monkey Wrench that. by the, the Foo Fighters. It is not? It is. It's the breakdown. I know all the breakdowns in 90s music. Try me. Buddy Holly? Bang, bang. Knock on the door. Another big bang. Get down on the floor. Oh, no. What do we do? Don't look now, but I've lost my shoe. Corny ass fucking Rivers Cuomo rap segment. I can't run. I can't sit. What's the matter, babe? Are you feeling sick? What's the matter, matter? What's the matter? What's the matter, you? Oh, what's the matter, babe? Are you feeling blue? Oh. So true. Gen Z so crazy, they forced the Foo Fighters to change their name to the Foo Diplomats. So true. <laughs> I just, uh, just do the same joke over and over. It's gonna say, hey, inflation's so bad, Andre 3000 had to change his name to Andre 4000. And they made Big Boy change his name to Big They Them. But dum <laughs> That joke would kill in Atlanta, bro. I like this guy. It just seems like the kind of stand-up you could have a beer with, man. Not like that John Mulaney guy. So uptight about his sobriety. This seems like the sort of guy you could really get into just a little bit of mischief with. Make sure you keep the YouTube comments happy with this boss. I did see the comment that you posted is so funny. You said like, holy fuck, can you just shut up and kill the boss? <laughs> it's so good. I know, like it's, I'm not like trying to insult anybody who's a fan. Sometimes it just slips out, like accidentally. It's a bad look. Unfortunately, it's organic to my personality. I'm more just like, I can't imagine the type of individual who's like, I'm a big fan of this guy's content, but I hate when he talks. I'm like... Because the gameplay is like, not that impressive. In my opinion. I mean, occasionally it happens, but like... I'm more like, wh why are you watching me? Of all, of all the people you could be watching... Like, what, what is it about me that's like, I love watching you play games, but I hate when you talk about shit that's unrelated to the, the boss fight. It's just, I... It's like someone who likes Subway for their cold cuts, right? We like Subway for their breads, if we like Subway, which we don't. Forgot about that one. What? Chill. Heal. Great time to heal in my opinion. No need to be taking too many chances here. Cutscene. I don't think he's dead, man. I don't think he's dead. There's gonna. I knew it. There's gonna be a little guy inside. 
Bro thinks he's Oppenheimer for real. <laughs> Me after after taco night at the local I don't know, whatever. <laughs> what do you care, man? Radon. Skinniest guy ever to resemble a ninja turtle. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore fart thou, Romeo? Oh, okay, good move, kid. White lady must have been Juliet then. That's damn true. It's a good joke. Plus, I'm gonna plus two you for that one. It's crazy that dude thinks he's Machine Gun Kelly for real. Excuse me. Um, I know you said Geppetto must have been a really messed up dude when he made these guys, but I have to let you know, you didn't say Geppetto, you said Gestapo. Two very different things, as the Speaker of the House uh, in Ottawa, Ontario found out. Both two messed up dudes though? I don't know, is, is Geppetto really that messed up? I haven't seen Pinocchio in forever, I remember like almost nothing about it. I thought Geppetto just wanted, like, a, a boy, right? He thinks he's Oppenheimer? Oh, well, when you put it that way. <laughs> Thank you for putting it in terms I could understand. It's crazy that Romeo's only, like, 13 years old. He's been... He's got, like, 25 years of Krav Maga experience. Boz Lerman should make a, a 2023 version of Romeo plus Juliet. They already did the 1990s version which is extremely good. But you know what they should do? They should make it, they should do an inverted Baz Luhrmann, a Laz Berman, if you will. And they should make it a, a period piece so it looks like it's the 1600s, but then with 2023 terminology. Juliet, an elf bar by any other name would taste as sweet. I don't know anything about the current day. An elf bar is a nicotine vaporizer. Is this correct? Yes, okay. I'm hip, I'm with it. Zoomers love Kratom. I don't even know what Kratom is. It's a leaf, right? Is this some shit that they chew in like the Amazon rainforest or something like that? It's a digestion thing you can get blasted off of. <laughs> Kava is better than Kratom? I don't know what any of this stuff is, man. Whatever happened to Huffing Glue? Something natural like that. It's in the coffee family? Is it in the coffee family in the same way that tea is in the coffee family? Or is it in the coffee family in the same way that, like... Human beings and primates are both mammals. You know what I mean? We don't know what you mean. That was not a smart move. Well, all I'm, what I'm trying to say is when people are saying a drug is in the coffee family, does it hit like coffee or is it like one of those things where it's, you know, human beings are 99.9% .9 genetically identical to a banana? It's like, you know, we are but we aren't. Like, I'm never gonna be walking down the street and I'll be like, whoa, look at that banana. I'll be like, whoa, look at that guy. Bad move. Bachelors of Science, by the way? <laughs> it's not a husband of science, it's a Bachelors of Science. I'm doing what I can. I'm not a drug guy. Minus aspartame and minus caffeine. Even then, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a caffeine guy. I'm like a coffee guy, sort of, in that I drink like a coffee a day. But I'm not one of those people who's like caffeine maxing. Like I don't take caffeine pills when I wake up. 
What about those double IPAs? I started cutting them out already to get ready for Dick Skin December. The closer you get to Dick Skin, the harder it is to get your skin to look like the skin of your dick, man. I, I, Librarian, did you tell people to always give me the question marks when I say Dick Skin December? Or do we have like more turnover than like a call center? Because I feel like I've explained Dick Skin December like 150 times. I haven't been here since last November. Oh, well, okay, well honestly, that's like the only reasonable excuse you could have. You, okay, Dick Skin is a bodybuilding term for when your body fat gets so low that the skin all over your body is as thin as the skin on your, resembles the same thickness as the skin on your penis. And you have to do it in December. I know it's not the best month for it because it's the holidays. But it's the only month that starts with D. It sounds made up. Well, I invented it and I've never done it. So I guess if, if that means it's made up, then sure it's made up. <laughs> No, you can't change the name. So you guys are like, I didn't know what dick skin was. And now you're coming up with shit that's completely made up. What the hell is Meat Man March? Nobody knows what that is. That's even more fake than dick skin is. Thoughts on foreskin February? I'm ineligible. I knew I liked you. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you, my moil? Probably not. I was, I mean, I was gonna say I wasn't there. That's not true. I was definitely there. But I'm gonna guess that the dude who did my circumcision is definitely dead. Because I'm old enough that I'm pretty sure it was only dudes doing circumcision. You see, in the room with us right now, his work is in the room with us right now. His, his handiwork. Well, it's in the room with me right now. It shouldn't be in the room with you. What? Was in the pool. Handiwork that's messed up. Oh, it's not handiwork. I'm pretty sure. They use like some. I don't think that's what maybe it's gross. I feel like they use like a string, something like that. I don't know. My ass is. I was born in the 20th century, man. I don't know what they use now. It's probably like a laser beam or something like that. I'm pretty sure they use the string for me, man. I know that sounds crazy. <laughs> You could Google it if you want to. I don't want that in my search history. You do not use hammers in your country. That's just crazy. <laughs> That's for flat dick February. That's a totally different thing. You do not use a, a drill press. A circular saw. If, they might use a miter box, okay? Again, I was born before the invention of power tools. No, they don't put the string around it and then put one end around the doorknob. That's when you gotta pull out your wisdom teeth. That's when you wanna restore it. So true. This is what I mean though, when I say like, uh, it's the same thing with the dress coat. People are like, oh, this is gross. Like, stop talking about it. I'm like, I know it's gross, bitch. It's my body. Who cares? Say, so I. I I, maybe it's a, again, I'm not self-diagnosing as neuroatypical, okay? I'm simply saying, maybe it's very neurotypical if somebody says, oh, I uh, am circumcised. You're like, oh, you just forced me to imagine what your penis looks like. Like, I'm not, I'm not living that life. Corey implied to me that he was circumcised. I didn't immediately get like a vivid image of Corey's penis in my head. I have to look at the pictures on my phone for that. Plus two. <laughs> oh, still got it, baby. Stupid move on my part. Is it just me or is P kind of serving when he goes in for that lethal attack? Like he walks up and he kind of like sets his hip. He goes like, and then he pulls out the thing and goes, ta 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 ta. 
I think he serves a little bit. You better work, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what is serving? You know what serving is. You better not be Albert Einstein with your legs crossed when I get there, sitting on a boat. You better not be Dwight Eisenhower with his hands on his lap when I get there. Me when you get there. We like Ike. What the hell are you talking about? You guys gotta modernize yourselves, okay? These are pretty sensible sentences for the 21st century lifestyle, okay? Vertical spin go in. Oh, that was a good one too. What is the king of puppets saying? I think it's like he fucking how you built a tower tumbling to the sea where you would lay and learn what each other's bodies were for. Your mom would drink until she was no longer speaking. And Dad would throw the garbage all across the floor As we would lick the golden rod and the 4-H stone The things I bought you when I found out you had Blanky of the Bone You know what I'm talking about? We're mashing it up. We're mashing up Jeff Mangum with St Sufian Stevens who often sings about <laughs> Mangum <laughs> and God and sometimes the Mangum of God, honestly. Then I think about it, Jeff Mangum's got some songs where he sings about Mangum too. And that should be staining the mountaintops. Hope you brought the Costco-sized Tide Pods. Okay. Good start. He's got Heelys on. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. Oh, if you get that four piece though. Okay, okay. Best attempt so far. Maybe a dodge, lad. Every land so far has been a dodge lad, if you ask chat, okay? Turns out every boss in the game is pretty beatable if you just press LB at the exact same, at the exact right time. And chat is usually right. Most self aware chatter. People are always saying that about live stream chats. They're like, I, really, I saw this really interesting thing in the chat of my illegal NFL stream yesterday. Saw some really good discourse in there. <laughs> Press LB. I saved that for the gym, brother. You know what? That might be the plus two of the stream so far. Gen Z be like Romeo, Romeo. Where Fortnite at Romeo? That one, I'm just going to be honest. Sometimes I pretend to steal a joke from chat. I'm proud enough of that one that I want you to know that that came from my brain. <laughs> where, Romeo, Romeo, where Fortnite at Romeo? Hey God, I, I might even tweet that one. But I want it to be a genuine, like I don't, I don't want to tweet it right now because it'll get like a thousand up X's just because of people watching right now. I'm gonna send that one out into the arena. Pretty inspiring. I want to be like this guy and still play games when I'm 54. I can't wait until your ass is like 31 and you start commiserating with other idiots your age about how like ever since you turned 30 it's all been downhill and your back hurts like a motherfucker. I'm gonna be out there at like age 38 being like, you stupid bitch. <laughs> it's gonna feel so, by the way, thank you for the resub. It's gonna feel so damn good. 
I'm gonna be like, yeah, you better work, bitch. You better work out your lumbar, okay? 30 minute Jen Sherman out the damn saddle, sold out show ride. For some reason, she's playing the PG-13 version of hardcore gangster rap songs, and she's saying, ride faster, motherfucker. And you're like, what the hell? <laughs> You better not be Riku from Kingdom Hearts when I get there. After we had a baby with the Terminator. Okay, I mean, this seems easy enough. When he attacks, you just dodge it. Is that easy? So you have iframes, dude. Why do you block, just dodge? Bro, Buzz Lightyear has a laser beam on his posable right arm. Why are you having Woody throw his hat to defeat the giant Rilakkuma? Just use Buzz Lightyear's laser beam to neutralize the Rilakkuma. That's you watching me play with my three-year-old. Rilakkuma? I thought you didn't know Street Fighter? I know everything there is to know about the best Street Fighter character of them all. Sea Viper. Who apparently is... Uh, we don't see Viper in Street, Fight Street Fighter 6 so far. Which is why you will not see me playing Street Fighter 6 so far. Because they have not included C Viper yet. Which I take as a, as a huge insult to the fans. I like C Viper. She, got the, she doesn't have the damn quarter circle. She's got like a Z instead. You know what I'm talking about. Is it okay to use your phone on the toilet? Yeah? Why wouldn't it be? That's like one of the best times to use your phone. But if you drop it, it's never happened. To me, at least. I don't know. Maybe you got slippery ass hands. I mean, what else are you going to do on the toilet, man? Yeah, if you shower with your phone, you need to break the tether that it has on you. Like, if you're a grown adult that you can't spend 10 minutes in the shower focusing on getting your body clean, you really got to, like, figure that out. That's a serious problem. Your attention span has, has been microwaved. If you're using it to listen to music or something, that's fine. Okay, sure. Can you be on your phone while you pee? I think you can. I would say the juice isn't worth the squeeze. I shower with my phone and I'm going to be a doctor next year, so shove it, Baldy. Yeah, but it, uh, what specialty? Because, <laughs> you know, if you could be a doctor with the showering with your phone debuff, I mean, you wouldn't be saying doctor if you were an anesthesiologist. That's all I'm going to say. <clears throat> what the hell does a doctor of biology do? Yep, that's a snail. Get freaking real. It's not like that, okay? What is a doctor? What do you call a doctor of biology? Professor. And it's actually even worse than, like, no disrespect, if you love biology, then, like, by all means, why don't you marry it? Oh, wait, you did. But actually, like, what is it? Instead of, like, oh, that's a snail, it's like fucking, oh, we did a microassay of metabolites inside of a fucking snail, and we found that their uh, carbonite dehydrogenase increased by a statistically significant amount when you uh, poured Diet Coke on top of them. And then the media is like, potential cure for cancer found in a laboratory in Kingston, Ontario. Is anybody in chat a veterinarian who uh, is a vet for farm animals but also eats beef? I'm not even, I think you should be allowed to do it. I'm just saying, I want to ask you some questions because it sounds kind of funny. Like imagine being a veterinarian and like someone brings in a pet chicken and then you're like saving its life you're like giving it a little chicken defibrillator or something like that and then after you get home you're like what's for dinner and they're like oh i got a rotisserie chicken at costco and you're like i love that shit you gotta admit that'd be pretty funny i don't know if this ever happened but i mean it's different because it's somebody's pet right i don't support eating somebody's pet I would never eat somebody's pet chicken. I kind of want to become a vegetarian who, like, works on animals that I also eat. It wouldn't make me feel superior. I think I would just feel good about that. You'd be like, wouldn't you feel extra noble if you were saving someone's animal, but it was also an animal that... 
is part of the supply chain for $1.50 hot dogs at Costco. Maybe we overcooked this one a little bit. It's a funny character, though. It's a funny character. Oh. I, I still own him? I'm dead, apparently. I had a perfect parry in there. I'll do one more. Animals at the vet when you... <laughs> I don't say... Animals at the vet when you bring in a crock pot of... Hamster chiffonade. Listen, that's not a real dish, okay? Also, chiffonade is not a dish either. It's a style of chopping. I am picturing like a really... You know, the, when dogs give that look, that like... You know the one I'm talking about. But you can see like the top of their eyeball. It's crazy to think like, maybe this is an uh, overly Dr. Panglossian way to think. I'm sure like, even if you go back to like the, dare I say the Roman Empire, I bet food tasted pretty good. But our, our caveman ancestors were eating some seriously like fucking tasteless garbage, right? At least in North America, we basically only mastered cooking. Like, in, I would say like the year 2008. I'm out of here. I'm pretty sure even when my parents were growing up, they were eating like, you know, canned vegetables and like boiled beef for every meal. Ah, oh, that's a problem. When did they invent the chicken tender? Like that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's the first era of humanity I want to, I want to be born into. If we get to re-up. 80s, I think. You tell me we sent a man the moon, a man, a man to the moon. Sorry. You better not be unservable when I get there. We sent a man to the moon before we invented the the chicken tender. That's just insane. He died to acid. Good hit, brother. Good hit. I'm taking two. I'm okay. Yeah, it turns out I'll be taking three, apparently. Three? This is looking pretty bad. <laughs> uh, I, gotta, I gotta sleep on this one. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Ooh, what a stretch, man. <laughs> KFC is... Well, I got one. No, I got nothing more in me. KFC has been around longer than the Apollo program. I only knew that because um, Buzz Aldrin bought K he brought KFC gravy on the Apollo 11 flight just in case there were aliens on the moon. He knew that you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar, and you catch more aliens with KFC gravy than you do with rocks. Slash marker, lies of P. All right, I will send you over to my wife's stream. Enjoy yourself. I will be back uh, tomorrow. Pray for me that my daughter chooses to sleep tonight so I can recover some of my cognitive ability. But we had a pretty good stream, though. I'll see you next time. Swedish Aladdin. <laughs> I can show you the fjords. Colt Boulard with Lingam Berries, Henrik Daniel, Sudin Elias Peterson, uh, Matt Sundin, a whole new world. Sorry, yeah.